Hi, Richo here from DO Australia. Look what we've got here for you. Extremes Flight's new offering in the 91 inch Yak. It's been waiting a little while for this one to come out. We've got this in the last container. It's in a pretty striking scheme. Uh, I think this is an excellent. These things are covered so well. Uh, I'm really surprised how well uh, Chinese factories now can put covering on. Uh, the covering on this model is uh, Oricover, which is a European covering. Market in Australia is Profilm. Uh, so it's easy to get, easy to, easy to, um, to get to match colours and so forth, but it is a top quality covering. It's not just a cheap China coat. It is excellent covering, and the job they do is magnificent. Uh, this thing's a bit of a change from the 88 they, they previously gave. There's a few changes they've done. You'll notice on it, it comes with carbon undercarriage now. Quality, uh, Air Force shape, good quality carbon undercarriage on that one. Uh, also comes with a pilot, a dash, a side force generators which you can add on to it and you'll see on the edge here they have a removable tip um, what the factory have done they put three bolts through here with t-nuts in behind uh, on uh, on the tip here and you can add these uh, side force generators now these will make a huge difference for 3d and any of that um, uh, you know any knife edge kind of maneuvers you'll find this thing will work and take a lot of pressure off the rudder and give the thing a lot more guidance on knife edge uh, these are easily put on, so you can take them on and off. So if you want to do a bit of iMac, where well, you're not allowed to use side force generators, you can uh, take them off, put your tips back on again and go fly. Uh, great idea. A couple of other things they do on this model, which I think is a little nicer than some of the other brands that are available out here. You'll notice on the cowl, etc. All the bolts are accessible from the outside. You don't actually have to get from the inside or from inside the fuselage to actually start putting the bolts in to get the cowl off. Now I'll just slip this off. And you can just see the little lugs all around the outside here. Nicely designed. It's a bit of a change for some of them. Uh, I like this feature where you can get to the cowl from the outside rather than getting inside to do bolts. Here you'll see your engine box. It's already got the offset built into it. So they've already taken care of it. There's rear access for the carburetor. This thing's been designed around the DA60. So a DA60 will bolt pretty much onto that. Uh, you'll probably get a DA70 in there quite easily as well. Uh, both engines will, will perform extremely well. Now with this one, what you have to keep in mind is it has a fairly small exhaust tunnel up the center here. Now, uh, we've done a little bit of playing around. We find that the, the MTW TD75, TD75H, uh, which is the rear exit, and the RE3, uh, RE2 tune pipe, rather, sorry, will fit in that without any problems. Anything else gets a little tight. Um, with the 70, you may have to run just the standard mufflers on it, unless you're willing to modify the box there to get two, um, two canisters in. But the other option is some other manufacturers are starting to look at bringing in two and a one for the, for the 70 twin. How well they work, don't know you. I'm a little reserved on that. We'll see how that works out. But um, if you want to run a tune pipe with your DA60, no problems at all. It's a full length tunnel. We'll have a look inside, I'll lift the canopy off and you'll have a look inside and you'll see some of the nice features they've done in this. Okay, if Mark can come over, you'll have a look down inside there. You'll note all these carbon stringers here. Now these are running full length. There's no balsa up to there, these are all carbon stringers all around the back here. Nice work, super light, super strong and you've got less chance of sticking your finger through it when you carry the thing uh, to the car or, or getting it out of the car, which I don't know about you, but I break lots of bolster stringers and, from my previous models. It's got a carbon wing tube, carbon stab tube, excellent quality. The carbon is excellent. Uh, they do a really good job uh, nowadays with uh, the carbon that comes out of China. Previous uh, cheap versions were pretty bad, but I've got to say Extreme Flight does a great job with this. The other thing I do like is control horns. are all made of G10 circuit board. Uh, they don't fit them for, for you, they leave you up to do this. I prefer to do them myself, I think it's great that they actually don't put them in. Uh, I'd rather spend the time myself to make sure I've got them all in accurately. You'll also find these also run Robart hinges, which are again not glued in, they expect you to do that. And my preference is to do it myself. Uh, these are Robart style, they're quite easy to put in, but I like to take my time to get the gap nice and tight, and uh, I prefer that they don't fit them. The other thing you'll find that comes in the kit, uh, they come with good quality ball links, the hardware for the ball links, and titanium turnbuckles. So these are right hand, left hand thread. These work excellent. Uh, good quality, easy to adjust, easy to use. 
Uh, it's good to see some good quality hardware coming out of Extreme on this stuff. Uh, pretty pleased with that. But the only thing I'd probably change would uh, probably go to stainless steel bolts instead of these uh, black uh, steel bolts. They tend to rust after a little while, particularly here in Queensland with the humidity and the weather. Uh, and as I said, the little items like the dash and stuff, uh, yeah, sometimes it doesn't seem a lot, but these things can add a bit to the, the price of the build. So the, the money you pay for one of these, my opinion, they're worth it. What I like about Extreme Flights, you're not the crash test dummy. You don't go and test their models for them. They test them long time before you actually get your hands on one. So when you get one, the wing incident has been done, there's no stabs to be adjusted, everything's going to work really neat and they fly straight off the bat. Quality model, worth looking at.